Hi everyone. In this uh, video, we are going to see about the organic and inorganic stabilization methods. So, let us see what is uh, organic and inorganic stabilization. Uh, they are the two distinct approaches used in waste management to reduce the environmental impact of hazardous substances. And first one is what is organic stabilization? It uh, uses, uh, uses natural synthetic organic substances, compounds to treat hazardous uh, substances in waste and particularly uh, effective for organic pollutants such as hydrocarbons, pesticides and solvents. And here, what are the common techniques used in organic stabilization are bioremediation, composting and phytoremediation. Bioremediation means it is as we all know it is a biodegradation method by using microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi and this bacteria and fungi metabolize organic uh, pollutants and convert them into less harmful substances such as carbon dioxide and water thus uh, they are, can be made less harmful and next one is composting composting involves the aerobic decomposition of organic waste by uh, microorganisms under control uh, conditions to uh, manure which is known as compost and next one is phytoremediation this phytoremediation uses uh, plants to remove or degrade or immobilize the organic contaminants from soil, air or water and next is uh, the order the advantages it is a low cost method it is a natural remediation process and this also gives a minimal environmental uh, impact and next concept is organic, uh, we have seen about organic and next one is inorganic uh, stabilization. It involves the use of chemical or physical methods to immobilize or transform hazardous inorganic substances into in the waste and this is uh, used mostly for heavy metals, radioactive materials and other inorganic pollutants that are not uh, biodegradable. And what are the common techniques for uh, inorganic stabilization as we all know this chemical precipitation. Here you are going to use some chemicals such as lime, sodium hydroxide or ion, ion salts uh, to waste in to precipitate out the hazardous metals and uh, as insoluble compounds. This immobilizes heavy metals and reduces the leachability and making the waste less hazardous. And next one is the ion exchange process. Already we have seen this about uh, about this in the previous uh, uh, video. This uh, the hazardous um, ions are being or toxic as uh, heavy metal ions are being absorbed, and uh, the less hazardous, hazardous substances are released into the environment by use of uh, ion exchange resins. And it is a more effective method to mobilize heavy metals and other toxic ions reducing the uh, in, uh, mobility in the waste stream and next is as we all know again the solidification process by using certain uh, binders like cement fly ash or clay we are going to form a solid matrix and we are going to encapsulate it and stabilize the hazardous substances and uh, what are the advantages of uh, inorganic stabilization is uh, they have high efficiency, they are predictable, they show predictable performance and versatility for treating a wide range of inorganic contaminants. However, these methods may require specialized equipment, chemicals and expertise for implementation. So everything should be carried out. Now, when we are going for inorganic stabilization, it should be carried out very uh, carefully because we are going to use so many chemicals and ex uh, we are going to um, remove or uh, remove the toxicity of material. So thus, we have the, more than the organic uh, stabilization, inorganic stabilization should be done with care. So thank you for watching.